Few federal investigators have been digging now for close to three days in Delaware County. What they're searching for still isn't clear, but neighbors in the area are starting to take notice. And joining us this morning live from Muncie Police Headquarters are Matt McCutcheon, who's been following this story with more on what people there are saying. Matt, good morning. Naomi, good morning. This investigation is long and complex. The particular area of land in Gaston is about 12 miles away here from Muncie Police Headquarters. It's in a very rural part of the area in the 18,000 block of Wheeling Avenue. But in that area alone, investigators are looking at more than 140 acres of land in that area. What they're looking for, they know but we don't. They're not telling us right now because they say that could jeopardize the investigation. Eyewitness News has been there as the search now enters day three today. And in the past, they've been using everything possible to try to look for specific items. That includes canines, cadaver dogs, Humvees, even big earth movers as they've dug into the ground. Here's what we do know. Late yesterday evening, crews recovered about half a dozen large safes. What's inside is also still a mystery. Detectives have those hauled away to be taken into evidence to be thoroughly investigated. Again, what's inside is still a mystery. It is a mystery that has concerned neighbors in that remote area talking and concerned. From what I know, that is I've seen a lot and I've told what I've known and it, it's, it's just real concerning for all citizens around there. And we you know, this is something this country doesn't need right now. At this time, there's no word on any charges against anyone who lives or owns that land where police have been searching. This investigation, the search rather, started on Thursday with about 40 different officers. It was about half that on Friday. And again, more are expected to go in that area. This includes the Muncie Police Department, Delaware County Sheriff's Department, as well as the FBI in this investigation that continues here. It's not quite clear how long that particular property or the people who live there have been under the microscope. Again, those are additional clues we expect to learn here in the coming weeks from this investigation. It could still take some time. Of course, we'll be here for day three and bring you the very latest developments on air and online. Live in Delaware County, I'm Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, still a lot of mystery surrounding that. Thank you.